Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I thought today I would show you a uh, another pen uh, in my collection, and yes, it's another Visconti. Um, but uh, this is a slightly different pen, and it's a, uh, a commemorative pen, um, a royal pen. Um, and I thought I would show this to you. So let me unbox this. Clearly, this is a Visconti. Um, it comes in the standard um, clamshell uh, slimline case. Um, it's uh, almost like a, like a plastic type uh, um, covering. So let me um, open up and I'll show you this pen and why I bought it. So this is uh, celebrating Her Majesty the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. Now, in the top of the box here, you have the Visconti logo, which is uh, uh, embossed into this sort of like leather here, or faux leather. Um, and uh, you have this wonderful booklet here um, that actually um, details about the pen. Celebrating Her Majesty the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. It's a limited edition to 600 pieces of fountain pens and limited edition HRM to 600 pieces of fountain pens. And it goes into detail here about the Diamond Jubilee um, and basically talking about Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's 60th anniversary Diamond Jubilee and the 170 anniversary of the Army and Navy Club and uh, the Army and Navy Club is the most prestigious ancient and exclusive club in London founded in 1837 and here uh, you can see some of the fountain pens now this uh, one I have today to show you isn't the fountain pen um, but um, I thought I would show this to you anyway I managed to um, uh, uh, pick this up uh, uh, on my travels and I really really liked it but th this brochure in itself is actually quite lovely goes into all of the um, history of the royal family um, international distinction as well again look at those pens really really nice uh, and then you have it in Italian and just basically just goes through in, in other languages as well so um, it also actually shows you uh, the two different uh, fountain pens here that are in the collection with 23 carat dream touch nibs um, and there you can see a combination of the different pens now I actually went for the rollable and I'll show you why because it's actually quite nice now it gives you filling instructions as well for the fountain pen so this is a a booklet uh, and then it just gives you the the standard brochure a uh, Visconti brochure that you normally see in um, really from Visconti so that's the brochure and um, this is the lovely pen and it is a stunning stunning pen and I'll show you why get a bit more light on this um, this pen is is mesmerizing so basically it is a very um, lovely like red galaxy with gold dust in the body now I would have loved to have picked this actually up um, in the um, I guess in the, the the fountain pen but but I just wasn't able to do that so um, or at least not yet anyway maybe I will be able to at some point um, but uh, this is is a lovely lovely material as you can see here it's just absolutely stunning so as per normal with Visconti you have the uh, Visconti bridge clip here spring loaded uh, you have the finial here which is the standard uh, Visconti type finial um, it's not a my pen system though so um, you just have to bear that in mind um, but the the material though in this uh, body is really really stunning and it just glitters and shines 
Uh, now, in terms of the, the cap band here, you actually see, uh, it says here, Her Majesty the Queen Diamond Jubilee. And, uh, and then it sort of, you have the body and it starts to taper down to the end cap here. And then the end cap is just blank. Um, but uh, it's a lovely, lovely pen. Now, in terms of, it is a rollable, like I mentioned. So not everybody likes rollables. Um, I always find, though, that, that there are times when you need to use a rollable. Like, there are times when you need to fill out a form uh, or an application form or any kind of form or, or even um, a signature even and you don't know what paper what the quality or the thickness or the grade of paper is so although I'd love to use my fountain pens on every piece of paper that I use if somebody is handing me a piece of paper I typically will not use a fountain pen and I will um, use a, a, a rollable instead and not only because you don't know if, if the um, your writing is going to feather and bleed but but it's also sometimes some of the paper because it's cheap can be very fibrous and those fibers can get stuck between the tines of your nib and if you've got a, an expensive uh, fountain pen that may be something that you don't want to, to have happen or you want to try and reduce that so so this is the pen itself uh, and I do do like it. it it's actually quite a small pen for me uh, as you can see here as I'm holding it so it's it's not a massive pen um, but then again rollables typically are smaller in size than a lot of fountain pens so for me um, uh, it's it's actually not a bad size, although to be honest, uh, you can post this, and I normally would post this to be honest because it just gives me that extra little bit of uh, uh, length to the pen. But um, it is a a lovely uh, pen, and I really really do like the material. Now, in terms of I'll take the cap off, in terms of the refill, now you just unscrew the barrel here. And then you have the standard Visconti refill. Now, I'll see if I can actually zoom in here and try and show you this, but um, it's difficult to actually tell on this light, but um, it basically is an AA40 rollable. So this is a uh, the, the Visconti. Visconti do a number of different rollable refills. And I, the, this is the AA40 version. Now, you can get this in blue and I believe in black, uh, maybe a couple of other colours as well. So, um, but uh, it is a um, a really, really nice um, uh, rollable refill. Uh, it's juicy wet. Now, rollables typically do use water-based ink, like fountain pens do. Uh, it's not quite as watery, though, uh, whereas ballpoints will, will use more of a very thick gel-like ink. Um, but um, I, and that's the reason why I guess I do like rollables more, um, because they do feel a little bit more closer to how a fountain pen would feel. Now, obviously, you're not going to get the luxurious like writing experience as you would with a fountain pen, uh, and and see the ink pooling on on the page. But um, uh, but but it's it's I'd say it's the second best to to having a fountain pen, and. Uh, you don't normally run out of ink that that quickly with these either. So, um, so this in itself is a for me is a really nice pen. I managed to pick it up for a good price, and uh, so I picked it up with a number of other pens that that uh, I was buying at the time, and I really do like this. I love the material on on this pen. Uh, it is just absolutely stunning. So let me um. What we'll do, we'll, we'll do some size uh, checks. So, in terms of length, we're looking at around 140 millimeters in full length. The cap is around about 66 millimeters in length. And then the body itself, without the cap, we are looking at around about 124 millimeters. So it's not a bad pen. I'd say it's just about under probably what we would call a um, oversized pen. So 
Let's do a um, weight check as well. So the full weight of the pen is just under 36 grams. The weight of the cap is just over 12 grams. And then the weight of the pen with the refill is just over 20 grams. So that's not bad. That comes in around about the weight of uh, most... Uh, probably most fountain pens, I, I would say. Uh, but you can see here the material here is really, really lovely. Um, it's such a uh, stunning, stunning material. Um, I never really thought that I was into gold dust. Um, but there's this pen I have in, in, in glitter. There's uh, the um, Visconti Opera Master Luna that I also have, the Goulet exclusive. And I really do like both of those pens. And uh, I think it's because it's done so well. And you can see the way that the light reflects off of the, off of the glitter and just make it sparkle. That with the gold trim as well. I think this makes this pen look really, really nice. So uh, that is the um, uh, Visconti um, Diamond Jubilee uh, pen. So let's just do a, um, a comparison with other pens. So here we have, left to right, we have the Visconti Istos Arachnus, the Visconti Belgica, the Pelican M800 Royal Gold Warden, the Visconti Speakeasy, the, and I'll get this right because it's a bit of a mouthful, it's the Visconti Celebrating Her Majesty the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Pen. Um, we have the Visconti Opera Silver Dust. We have the Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog. We have the Classic Pens LB5. We have a Visconti Opera Master uh, River Thames and a Visconti Divina Metropolitan in green stacked celluloid. So, let's do a writing sample. Now, this is obviously quite a bit of a mouthful, so I'm going to just call this a um, Visconti um, Queen um, Diamond Jubilee, and it's a rollable. Um, the ink is basically uh, Visconti black, and it's an A A forty. Um, so you're not going to get any kind of line variation on rollables, um, but uh, it is a uh, for a a. Uh, non fountain pen it's a nice wet uh pen now you're not gonna see wetness as in you would a fountain pen so like if i do this you'll see that like in terms of wetness you are not getting a lot of wetness at all but then it is a rollable so you kind of expect that from a rollable but uh, it is juicy smooth, um, and that's kind of why I like rollables because you're not with a with a ballpoint. You're having to really press into the page and and almost do like scribbles to get it to write. A rollable, you don't. And, and the reason why you have to do that is because the gel dries up, um, and uh, the gel is quite a thick ink. So to get that ink coming out, but with a rollable, it it kind of like and I'll show you here. It just right under its own weight. I'm not applying any pressure here whatsoever. So a rollable is very much like a fountain pen to the point of the way it writes uh, uh, with water-based ink. Clearly it's not a a fountain pen though, uh, but, but this is a really, really lovely pen for me. So this uh, here uh, really is... is a great substitute if I want to to take a uh, pen with me and I don't know what kind of paper there is I'll normally take a rollable with me and this is one of the rollables that I will take 
So that's the uh, review of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee uh, rollable pen from Visconti. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye. <laughs>